In the last presentation, I explained basics of cyclicity and we completed cyclicity of 1 and cyclicity of 2. In this lecture, we will complete cyclicity of 3 and cyclicity of 4. 3 raised to power 1 is 3, 3 raised to power 2 is 9, 3 raised to power 3 is 27, 3 raised to power 4 is 81, 3 raised to power 5 is 243, 3 raised to power 6 is 729, 3 raised to power 7 is 2187, 3 raised to power 8 is 6561. So these are the numbers and we have to focus on unit place. 3 raised to power 1 will give us 3 on unit place, then we have 9, 7, 1. And in these four numbers, we again have 3, 9, 7, 1 at the unit place. So after every fourth interval, 3, 9, 7, and 1 are repeated. So cycle of 3 is 3, 9, 7, and 1. Let me write this down. Cycle of 3 is 3, 9, 3, 9, 7, and 1. We have four digits in the cycle. The first digit is 3. This is the first digit. 9 is the second digit. 7 is the third digit and 1 is the fourth digit. Right. Now we will move to first example. The number is 3 raised to power 78 and we have to find digit at unit place. We will repeat the same procedure. We will divide 78 by 4 because there are 4 digits and the remainder in this case is equal to 2 and when remainder is 2 it means the second term of the cycle is at the unit place and the second term is 9 so 3 raised to power 78 will have 9 at the unit place so 9 is the answer of this problem now we will move to second problem and in second problem we have in second problem we have the first number 1023 raised to power 84 multiplied by 93 raised to power 93 right we will neglect 102 from 1023 and we will neglect 9 from 93 because we have to focus on units place so we are left with 3 raised to power 84 multiplied by 3 raised to power 93. Now we can easily find out the digit at unit place for this number and for this number because we know the cyclicity of 3. I will divide 84. I will divide 84 by 4 and this will give me remainder equal to 0. And when I divide 93, 93 by 4, this will give me remainder equal to 1. When remainder is equal to 1, it simply means the first term, first term is 3. So we have 3 at unit place of 3 raised to power 93. And when remainder is 0, it means the last term, the fourth term. And the fourth term is 1. When remainder is 1, we will select 3. When remainder is 2, we will select 9. When remainder is 3, we will select 7. And when remainder is 0, we will select 1. So this is something you should keep in your mind while solving the problem. Depending upon these values, we will select one digit out of 3, 9, 7 and 1. 1023 raised to power 84 will have 1 at the unit place. 93 raised to power 93 will have 3 at the unit place. And they are multiplied, so I will also multiply 1 by 3 and the result is 3. So 3 is the answer this multiplication will have 3 at the unit place so this is all for cyclicity of 3 now we will move to cyclicity of 4 4 raised to power 1 is 4 4 raised to power 2 is 16 4 raised to power 3 is 64 4 raised to power 4 is 256 and if you focus on the unit place I have 4 6 and again I have 4 6 simply for this numbers also I have 4 6 4 6. So if we talk about the cycle of 4, we have two digits, 4 and 6. Let me write this down. Cycle of 4 is 4 and 6. There are two digits in cycle of 4. Let's solve one example. The number is 4 raised to power 629. Now you can easily solve this by dividing 629 by 2 and checking for remainder but I'm not going to solve this problem like this 
because you can clearly see when the power is odd the result is 4 whenever the power is odd the result is 4 and when power is even the result is 6 so we can generalize this if 4 raised to power n is there and n is odd then the digit at unit place is 4 very simple and when n is even digit at unit place is 6 so you can simply remember this we have to only check for the power and in this case n is equal to 629 629 is odd this means digit at unit place for this number is 4 so 4 is the answer this is all for cyclicity of 4 now we will move to homework problem I have three problems and they are very important the first problem is 3 raised to power 191 you have to find digit at unit place the second problem is 73 raised to power 237 multiplied by 33 raised to power 22 again you have to find unit place digit and the last problem and the very important problem is 13 raised to power 19 multiplied by 14 raised to power 18 this problem is important because you have to use cyclicity of 3 and cyclicity of 4 both this is all for this presentation see you in the next one